A Detroit neighborhood turned into a dumping ground for stolen cars. And while Detroit police work to find out who's doing it, neighbors are growing concerned because fire is being used to cover up the crime and it's putting them in danger. 7 Action News reporter Ronnie Dahl has the very latest from Southwest Detroit. Panic hit this block of Cabot Street in the dark of the night. Flames shooting into the sky. Another car stripped and set on fire. Only this time, the car was dumped next to homes where people live. The aftermath, not very dramatic to look at, just a scorched car and torched home. But during the fire, there was real fear. Smoke covered, you know, this whole area here, five, six houses. It shook all the houses. It scared us to death. The stripped red Honda Civic, just the latest car dumped on the street, but before it was an old abandoned building that was the preferred dumping ground. Seems like someone's stealing cars and then dumping them off. We don't want no one to die from this. Neighbors say the vacant house, which is owned by the mosque two doors down, was a problem house before the fire, an eyesore that attracted trouble. They're taking care of the mosque, but when it comes to the house over there, they just let it sit. Do you think that the reason why they dumped that car and caught it on fire there was because your property was already a mess? I, I can't see that right now. I can't blame anyone. Detroit police sent a tow truck to Cabot Street to haul away the stripped car, which is believed to be stolen. It's still unknown if the house can be saved. Neighbors want it torn down, but in the meantime, there is a promise to do the right thing. Are you going to board it up and secure it until then? For sure. I just came from the fire department to see what happened. This is the fifth story regarding stolen cars on this street that I've covered over the past year. Detroit police are investigating. No doubt the car thief knows this area well. In southwest Detroit, Ronnie Dahl, 7 Action News.